Savitri, page 500. A splendid shadow of the name of God, a formless luster from the ideal's realm. The Spirit is the Holy Ghost of mine, but none has touched its limbs or seen its face. Each soul is the Great Father's crucified Son. Mind is that soul's one parent, its conscious cause, the ground on which trembles a brief passing light. Mind, sole creator of the apparent world, all that is here is part of our own self. Our minds have made the world in which we live. Another with mystic and unsatisfied eyes, who loved his slain belief and mourned its death. Is there one left who seeks for a beyond? Can still the path be found? Open the gate. So she fared on across her silent cell. To a road she came thronged with an ardent crowd who spit billion, fire-footed, sunlight-eyed, pressing to reach the world's mysterious wall and pass through masked doorways into outer mind, where the light comes not nor the mystic voice, messengers from our subliminal greatnesses, guests from the cavern of the secret soul, into dim spiritual somnolence they break or shed wide wonder on our waking self. Ideas that haunt us with their radiant tread, dreams that are hints of unborn reality, strange goddesses with deep-pooled magical eyes, strong wind-haired gods carrying the hops of hope, great moon-hued visions gliding through gold air, aspirations sun dream head and star carved limbs, emotions making common hearts sublime.